Welcome, my name is Tim, and in this short video, I'm going to guide you through the proper procedure for diagnosing a faulty control transformer in the commercial air conditioner. Now, to begin with, as with any service call, we need to make sure the thermostat's calling for cooling. So we're going to click on the selector switch here, which will turn it to the cool position. Doing this will also turn down the temperature setting below the room temperature. Refer to the procedure guide after each step. So now that we've done this, we're going to click OK up here at the top. Next, we're going to take a brief inventory of which electrical loads are operating so we can narrow our focus. Here we can see that the indoor fan is not operating. Uh, these arrows would be spinning, and you also could hear this if you have speakers. So we're going to click no up here that it's not operating. Next, we go to the outdoor unit, and we can see here that neither the compressor nor the condenser fan is operating. So both of these motors are off, as well as the indoor fan motor. Now, for further verification of the compressor, you can always attach a clamp-on ammeter uh, to one of the wires leading to the three-phase motor in the compressor to determine if it's actually running or not. Now, after we've determined that none of the motors are running, we're going to go back to the indoor unit and remove the cover from it. Now, before we take any voltage checks here, I'm going to take out the wiring diagram for the indoor unit. And we're going to narrow our focus. Now, we know that none of the motors are operating. And if we take a look, that could mean that we don't have power coming into the indoor unit, which would basically not allow the transformer to provide 24 volts to the relays here. It's also possible we have a bad transformer or possibly a faulty thermostat. Now, if you look, all three of these provide power to both the indoor fan relay coil, which turns on the indoor fan, as well as the contactor coil in the outdoor unit, which when energized will turn on both the outdoor fan or condenser fan as well as the compressor. So we've got three possible causes here. And now after clicking on the procedure guide that we've removed the cover, we're gonna check for line power coming in. And this is 240 volts is what we're looking for here. So we're gonna drop our meter leads at the primary connections of the transformer since this is a direct connection from the line voltage feed. And we have 240 volts, so that eliminates the main power as a possibility here. So again, click yes on the procedure guide now that we've measured 240. And our next step now is to measure for 24 volts at the secondary of the transformer. So we're going to drop our meter leads on those glowing orange hot spots at the transformer secondary. And when we do this, we can see that we have zero volts, meaning we've got power to the transformer, but we don't have that control circuit voltage of 24 volts uh, coming out of it. This indicates that the transformer is in fact faulty. So we're going to click no on the procedure guide. And our next step is to just inspect for any loose connections. You now you can rotate around or zoom in and do a good inspection to make sure all wires and connections are secure. And there don't appear to be any loose wires. So no, we don't have any loose wires. Our next step is to turn the power off and replace the transformer. Simply click on it and click replace. And this solves our problem. Now, once you've finished with any service call, always be sure to observe one full cycle of operation to make sure everything's functioning properly. You can also check the outdoor coil for cleanliness, as well as check the indoor filter and replace it if necessary. Again, this gives a little added value to the customer. So now that we've replaced the transformer, we're going to click OK. We're going to turn our power back on. And when we do that, we can see our indoor fan starts immediately. And if you want, you can go to the outdoor unit and verify that that's running. Uh, but it's probably easier to just go up in the space at this point and ensure that cold air is being delivered through this ceiling diffuser. And it is, as evidenced by this blue graphic. If you want to review any of these steps that we just took, click this top left icon and you can review each step in the procedure. Good luck on your future service calls, and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. You can try our on demand VR enabled learning for HVAC by signing up for a free trial. Go to interplaylearning.com to get started.